So look, let me talk to you about uh, the Mason Mount scenario at the moment. So Mason Mount, and again, this is clearly a brief from the club because Simon Stone's talking about it. He says third Manchester United bid for Mason Mount is expected around £55 million. Club are set to walk away from the deal if Chelsea don't accept. With a year left, United do not believe a £70 million valuation is realistic. That's coming in from Simon Stone. Fabrizio Romano, 10 minutes before that, Man United are set to submit their third official bid in excess of £55 million for Mason Mount. Sources feel this is going to be the final proposal after two bids rejected in the recent weeks. That's how a leak works. That's how a credible leak works. Simon Stone, Fabrizio Romano saying the same thing in a different way. That is how a leak works. If you, we've been, I, I, I don't know who I'm talking to sometimes because I know we'll get new people. We'll have people who've been with us for years. Some people have been here with us for a year, whatever. But always important on a, on a news show to um, also almost um, educate and learn because every day is a school day. But that is a brief. Um, whether it's a brief from United whether it's a brief from, you know, somebody acting on the deal, uh, whether it's a brief, wherever it's coming from, it's a good brief. And ultimately, United will bid 55 million a walk away. It's almost like they watched the United stand. Did we not say this on, was it Monday night or Tuesday night? We were talking about 50 million pounds. And I said, I compared it to the Perisic deal a few years ago when Jose was here. We offered 40, they wanted 45, we walked. We should have paid 45. What's 5 million? I don't think 55 million for Mount's a good deal. I think 50 million is right. But are you going to walk away? And we shouldn't walk away in those circumstances. We shouldn't walk away from 55 million. But we should never go above above that. So Anana resigned from the national team. So Samuel, I know, but he can come back. We've had that chat. Um, yeah, I think that 55 million for Mount is a joke, says Joe Tommy. I know, but what... Would you, well, let's have a little bit of a poll here. Would you walk? Would you would, would you pay 55 for Mount? Let, let's just keep it very simple. Would you pay 55 mil for Mount? We're going to talk about Greenwood in a minute, another Mason. But uh, Mason Mount, would you pay 55 million? This is coming in from really good sources. Simon Stone, Fabrizio Romano, United set to put their final bid in of £55 million for Mason Mount. I think this deal gets done now. I really do. I think it's a good deal for Chelsea. He doesn't want to stay. He's a reluctant player. £55 million for a player that's got one year left on his deal who doesn't want to be there. Take the money. It's a good deal for Chelsea. I don't normally say that. That's a good deal for Chelsea. Is it a good deal for United? It's a reasonable deal. He's he's still under 25. He's had and been Chelsea's player of the year twice in the last few years. Um, he's got really good experience. Um, he's a number one priority for Eric Ten Hag. He's an English player, which always adds a few million on. I mean, look, if, if Mason Mount wasn't English, you'd probably get him for 40 million, which is a good... I think 55 million is on the border of an OK deal. Any more, it becomes a bad deal. Any less, 50 million's right. 55 million is okay. 40 million would have been a good deal. 45 would have been a reasonable deal. So I think 55 million's about right. Um, but um, Clements is right. Uh, he was worth about 80 million a couple of years ago. Exactly. So I, I think if Mason Mount and Kai Havertz and Kovacic become good players at Man City, Chelsea and Arsenal, it won't surprise me. They've had bad seasons at Chelsea. There's a there's, there's almost a there's almost a re there's a big reason for that, isn't there? Um but we as long as we don't go above 55 and look, I'm not massively uh, there's always a there's always somebody and we've not seen it this year. There's always someone in the chat who go, "Why are you so bothered? It's not your money." Absolutely spot on, but the problem here is we know we're working with a limited budget. We know we've probably got somewhere between 150 and 220 somewhere between that I think we've got about 200 million um <clears throat> so if you spend 55 on mount it's a big difference if you pay 65 because that's another 10 gone and you know that's that's a percentage of your budget so it does matter and I assume that after mount and Anana our remaining business will be Hoyland Rabio and the center backs as FIFA crazy yeah well it'll be a striker Rabio and a centre back, yes, if we get Mount and a goalkeeper. And and you know, seventy one percent of you say 
you would pay fifty or five million pounds for mounts, and I've got to say, I, I I agree. I'm glad that you agree with that. Our negotiations team is 100% celebrating for 20 day every time they try and buy a player, says uh, Danny Doritos. And uh, I can see Chelsea rejecting 55 plus 5, says David. Well, of course, 55 plus add-ons could well be a factor here. Um, but look, Mason Mount, I think that deal is going to happen. I put I put Mason Mount in the 90% uh, club a few weeks ago, didn't I? If anyone can remember, so the ninety the ninety percent club could be back thriving here. If once Mason Mount's done, I think I might throw Hoyland in there because remember that deal's hotter than the sun. Um, yeah, and I don't I don't think it does any damage for Manchester United to say that they will walk away to Chelsea because I don't think anyone else is going to come in, and also I feel that um, United are in a strong position there with Mason Mount. Let's